Hey there! This game is called Demon Attack. They use a lot of neat raster effects. If you're wondering about the left side of the screen, how when it, whenever it flashes you see these lines, that's just how the Atari had to keep track of, of the movement of different items. Uh, they did a lot of things with the graphics on the Atari. The game companies, the game designers, did a lot of things with these that were, were cheating the system, and they ended up creating neat things out of it. This game here uses for the colors, like right here, you can see these, to me, these these birds here are pretty, the, the, the way that they did that. Then you have the fade uh, uh, on the bottom, the, the gradient on the bottom between the light blue and the darker blue. I think the Atari, I can't, is it like 128 colors that it has? Quite a few for being, uh, <laughs> for being that early of a game system. So anyway, this is Demon Attack. I'm going to start with the, the regular, uh, you can have a selection of, of, of 10 different modes. I'm going to start with mode 1, which your uh, ship on the, the bottom moves a little bit slower, but it's also not guided. And you have a different sort of gameplay style when you do. So let's do it. And yes, I use the keyboard to control it because it's more like when I used to use the Starplex controller, which I'll leave a link to an image of, or maybe a, a link to a, uh, a website that talks about that joystick, so... So as you see, that these bullets just go straight up, they don't, they don't move with the ship. But I'll, I'll do the other version a little later. So, that's the version I usually played. Somewhat because it's a little easier to get away from the, uh, uh... When this game will... This will eventually be something where when you hit the birds, they split into two and look more like Galaxians. It was a pretty neat game for, for when this was made. Come on. <laughs> Those are always the hardest on this, on this mode. Still though, really imp impressive colors for, for the period. This game did impressive colors. The game Pitfall 2 did impressive sound, and I'll probably make a video with that one too. Come on. They managed to get five voices out of the Atari on Pitfall 2. Whereas normally it's only supposed to be able to do two sounds at once. They did this. They cheated the system. They sort of did the same sort of oops, same sort of thing that they did on the Commodore 64 to have sound samples. Good job. I feel like switching to the other mode. I probably will after this. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna switch to the other mode. Let's switch to the other mode. Let's go to this mode. Notice the ship moves faster, but your bullet goes with the, the ship, which you have to have a different kind of, uh, the gameplay is different, the, the strategy is different, so. To me, this would have been a really good game if they would have... It would have been even better had they made it uh, for the paddles. The paddle controllers, which have an analog uh, ability to move left and right. But uh, they didn't. Of course, it wouldn't have made as much sense, I guess, for being a ship that you can move that quickly. They'd have had to figure out some sort of... concept that made at least a little bit of sense, so... Yeah, I had I had weird dreams about this game. Really weird dreams. The dreams you just can't explain. Most of my dreams are that way. There's just no way to explain them. They're so they're so random. Damn it. Good 
Good job. Tim and Eric's awesome show, great job. <laughs> oh, I'm doing so poorly. Well, at least I got it. See, now they're acting more like Galaxians. They'll split up and, uh, and that's what will happen, so. <laughs> Man, I'm doing so poorly. Let's just sit on the, the side there. All right. about to spit. Okay. If I can make it to the next level... It, no. Yeah, if I can make it to the next level, that will be what I, what we used to call the, uh, the vacuum cleaner. And then after that comes the tables. These here we looked at as the spiders. I used to have very strange, messed up dreams about inanimate objects. Okay, here's the, uh, here's the vacuum cleaners. See if we can get to the tables. These colors are ugly. I'm sorry, these are ugly. But that's all right. Still neat for for the raster effects that they use. Someone on the uh, on my in the comments on the the Superman game, they were mentioning I said, "Man, where where are the colors? Well, here are the colors." So. Here come the tables. Don't turn the tables on them. All right. that turn into birds. Optimus Table. Oh, good job. I forgot, I forgot that these, this one, these ones are rough because they have the guided missiles here. some of the hardest ones for the sake of the way that they shoot. Shit. Schwit. Oh boy. Ah. Pretty colors. After that, it would have been these little eyeball things that, that, that kind of disappear for a moment, and then they come back, and then they turn into birds. Birds. The birds. Give it to the birds. Anyway. <laughs>